Baby in the... Oh, how do we go? Bedroom in... So Dries is saying clogs for the season. Got it. Note it, written it down. I feel like this this clog style, this slip on style has been a re reoccurring theme for like the past couple of years. But um, nobody do it like Dries. Oh, don't nobody do it like Dries. Oh, don't nobody do it like Dries. Oh, hey. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. He, yeah. And I am so happy to be back, you guys. So, I, I love you guys for always. I'm not even going to do that. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to hop right into this video today. Um, I'm going to be going through my favorites from the Dree's Fall 2023 show. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't be there in Paris, darling. So, I had to watch for my iPhone 11. We're doing Dree's and Sake. Okay, Dree's and Sake. I went to my local wine store and the lady recommended me this one. She said it was like... She was a sake drinker and she was like, oh, I like sake, but uh, this one here is like a little, it surprised her. So I'm like, oh, okay, I like sake too and I like surprises. So I feel like I should turn this light off. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this one is called Tenguma Umajan from Junami. It's in Ishikawa, Japan. If you can't drink, okay, don't drink. Um, get you a glass of warm milk or... <laughs> water okay it looked like water anyway that's what your girl be been sipping on i only had like a little bit so far but yeah i love sake i'll probably link this one for you guys although it's not sponsored or anything but yeah i'll link this for you guys in case you are into sake because i really like this one i don't know what she really mean about the spice she was like it's peppercorn <laughs> she was going in she was like, a little peppercorn some grapefruit oh my girl come on that yeah, maybe the peppery a little bit. Like, yeah, I guess it's a little bit more peppery. Anyway, back to Dries. So, yeah, I decided to go through the show, and I was inspired. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is, like, so freaking good. Um, some people were saying, like, this is their favorite show. Like, they like this show over the spring-summer show. Or, yeah, his previous show. And I'm just like, I feel like it's all so good. Like, I've never seen a Dries show where I'm, like, left uninspired. His shows are always consisting of like good fabrics, amazing prints, okay? I feel like when you see, if you see someone wearing Dries, even if you don't know it's Dries right off the bat, and you happen to ask like, oh my God, like what is this, where's this piece from? And they say Dries, if you're into fashion anyway, it's kind of like a, oh yeah, I see it, I see it. You know, it's kind of like that type of a moment. Um, so the first look that really moved your girl was this look right here um not to say that the ones previous didn't move me but i just really resonated with this mainly because i feel like the these pieces if you break them down piece by piece it's just like pieces that anyone could have in their freaking wardrobe and i would also say if you guys sometimes struggle with how to put your clothes together definitely look to designers like Dries, Margiela, especially, you know, Margiela, Martin Margiela's era. Um, who else do I find this for? The Row, La Mer, okay? Anyways, this look right here, I just love how it's just so freaking simple. But again, with Dries, if you zoom in on the fabrics, if you see how that little pant is moving when you walk, okay, that's where the, you know, the beautifulness <laughs> comes in, I guess. And these lighter tones like this very beige which reminds you of like sand and the pants remind you of like an ocean almost you wouldn't think that black would you know bring it together but i feel like it just brings it to freaking together and it's a black jacket too so it's just like you know it has pockets along with the hoodie you can put your hoodie on if it's, if it's raining real quick you can put your phone in your little pocket you know it's giving functionality that's what i freaking love um mixed with just the amazing fabric so that's why i love that look um, this next look is said to be like the best wool coat for like men's i guess it says something like that in the article i read or in like the the review on like vogue it was quoted that Dre said he took a lot of time with tailoring this piece he wanted to make sure that um it was just done exceptionally well and as you can see it's giving what it's supposed to give i need to stop saying that me and my friends was at drinks and it was like 
I hate when people say it's giving, it's giving. And I'm like, oh my God, I say that all the time. But I've been kind of saying that since like 2011, 2012 because my gay best friend used to um, use all of these types of lingos. But anyway, and this coat they said was made with English wool, which I heard, you know, is some of the best wool that you can use. And it's a double breasted style. Anyway, when I see this coat, I just say, I just see that it's, one, yes, a beautifully made coat, but two, a coat that I would invest in. Three pocketed, one at the breast, two at the bottom. But again, this style of coat or this style of even blazer, jacket even, it's just so timeless. If I had to guess the price of this coat, I would probably say like five grand, six grand. But especially if it's like mostly wool and with the tailoring too, no, nah, it's probably going to I would say no more than 10, but definitely up there. This is a very, very beautiful piece. And I love the exaggerated shoulders too. Very much so unisex, um, which I don't even know if that's word, that word is appropriate to use. But I do feel like, you know, it's a difference between a womanly physique and a manly physique. Uh, and I feel like this coat works for both types of body types. And uh, yeah. Getting into this next look, I just feel like it's so freaking simple. I love the very boxy, oversized blazer. And I think I like this look again because this is something that I feel like I can definitely thrift. Uh, thrift it, and it may not look like this as soon as I thrift it, but I can tailor it to where it can resonate the same way this look does. Also too, I love how it's like this practical suit, but they chose to style it with this like furry like sandals so it's like giving pragmatic but like quirky funness on the bottom and i was watching this like little clip of rihanna which i feel like i've already felt this way but anyway in the clip she was saying like your style is the first thing that people notice about you it speaks for your for you first and i feel like when a look like this is easy for someone to perceive you as like super serious but you know pairing it with something that is less serious for like a shoe or an accessory will read like i don't know differently if you care what you read like i don't be caring what i read like i don't know i guess i do sometimes it, it's difficult being a human we, we, all right this next look i really like for again functionality reasons and that's because you have like this anorak style jacket with the like wool vest underneath. And I like that they paired like no t-shirt or anything underneath, it's just bare chest. And then I feel like the 90s like rave aesthetic really comes in with the trousers. And this style definitely makes me think of like my mom with like a slick back bun and like her paper bag waist pants in like the 90s. So I feel like that's where maybe that 90s rave aesthetic may come in. And then again, like this look is so functional, it's so practical, the colors, are just you know neutral it's it's again given just very pragmatic vibes but with the freaking shoe you know it's i love the freaking pony hair looking clog but like this shoe it's fun yes but it can be worn like so many different ways and i feel like this look along like proves that this shoe can be worn with like any and everything because if you can wear with like a basic trouser i mean you can wear it with a basic dress you can wear it with shorts like this shoe i can see being like the hot item for this collection like the marnie little cow hair shoe that's similar to these just like those was like the hot item i feel like these gonna be the hot item so with this look i just see myself picking up my kid from school okay i just woke up like oh my god no 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 i'm taking my kid to school you know it's it's parenting for teacher drop off and I just woke up in my little pajama top and I'm like, oh my God, it's 7.30. And I just throw on, you know, the pants that I had on dinner last night. And, you know, I just threw on my little wool jacket. And I said, come on, Parker, Parker, let's go. <laughs> like, and that's what this look is giving to me. With the little dainty little necklace, okay, I didn't take that off either from the night previously. And my hair is a little disheveled, but mom is ready to go. I, again, just all the fabrics up against each other. This wool, it's, it looks like to me a mohair, probably wool, maybe a little polyester blend jacket. Oh my God. I know everyone is not here for a textured piece like this, but I am here for this type of a piece, okay? I will wear it too, just how they have it styled with more soft like fabrics underneath and you just got like this wooly texture over top. Like this look is just like, it's giving romance, okay? Like, oh, baby. How do we go? 
So Dries is saying clogs for the season. Got it. Note it, written it down. I don't know, I feel like this this clog style, this slip on style has been a re reoccurring theme for like the past couple of years. But um, nobody do it like Dries. Oh, don't nobody do it like Dries. Oh, don't nobody do it like Dries. Oh, hey. hey. Ooh. So with this look, I love the mesh up of fabrics. Okay, you have the jersey underneath, which again is going back to that like rave type of a aesthetic, I guess more modern approach this more chic approach to like raveness because you have layers underneath the jersey whereas i feel like if i was going to a rave party like i would just wear the mesh jersey nothing underneath um maybe a little thong maybe a little you know but anyway it's dreams I, I feel like looking at this look is like wow this look really works why does it work and it a lot it makes you want to zoom in on the details the t-shirt underneath the jersey the knit over top of the jersey um the color palette in general, it's just, it's it's so fluid. It's just, it just, it works. It flows. I just hope I can get my hand on this clog in any type of a color. Like I just want to make this my freaking shoe for the summer, for the fall, for the winter. It's it's just good for all seasons. All right, now getting into this look right here. This look I feel like is the most raviest look of all of the looks that I have seen from this collection. And I love all the mashups of prints. I feel like that is very much so Dries to do that. Seeing all these pieces on their own, like I would have never thought to put all these types of pieces together. I'm just a sucker for a really well tailored blazer. And I know that it was an emphasis on tailoring with this collection. And this blazer is just bravo. Bravo Dreams. The color, the crushed velvet, velvet itsness of it. And then like I like that too. The blazer again is just so classic. You know, it's not a lot going on. It's a style that again we've seen before. Um, not much has changed with like the silhouette of the blazer. But what gives it a modern approach is definitely the pant. And then the pant, I feel like it's something that I would see like a skateboarder wearing or something like that. Um, like teenage which I know like the teenage like again rave scene is what this collection is inspired by like I feel like this look can work on anyone from 18 to 65 you know like oh yes trees so I said eight and a half at the beginning this is the half because I like this look in its entirety but what I really like about this look is definitely the freaking trouser I feel like this trouser reminds me of like when I was a server um, and the trousers that the cooks would wear was very similar to this. So this is probably another reason why I'm like, oh my God, I love this pant. But I love this pant mainly due to the fact that I can see it on anyone. And I think that due to the fact that I've worked retail for so long and I retail is basically consistent of like styling people every day. Um, and you start to notice like what types of items tend to work for most people and this trouser or this style trouser is definitely a fit that that i feel like will work for multiple different body types um, multiple different like ways of dressing um like i can see so many people making this you know very serious very like fun with like a fun graphic tee like very like teenage with like a shirt with like holes in it and like some vans like this trouser I just feel like is super super versatile and I don't know what the fabric is it looks like maybe it could be washed linen which I read from the notes that washed linen trousers was like reoccurring through this show um or maybe even like a wool it is a fall show so so it could be like a wool fabric but yeah y'all those are my little thoughts on this Ladrice show let me know what y'all think down in the comments I would love to know um however I did see this Jay-Z interview which was from like 2012 um, I wanted to watch it again because I feel like Jay-Z is one of those types of people that I listen to American Gangster like still today or just like Black Album, any Jay-Z album because I feel like he has so many gems, hidden gems in his albums. I watched his Breakfast Club interview from I think like 2012 or something like that and he was saying that when it comes to like critics or people that you know have any type of feedback when it comes to a show or an album or critiquing like any artist in general um he was basically saying like it's you can't really take it all in in like a day or even a week you know especially with an album especially with a freaking fashion show like it's so many nuances he was saying when it comes to an album so many like you know 
different sounds, different instruments used, different like plays on words that you may not get the first time around, the second time around, the third time around. And I was just like, dang, I never even thought about that. Like critics do take in a show, take in an album in like a day or a week and then they're, the, or not even a week, like maybe a day or two and then the article is published and out to the public. And then therefore the public perceives what they perceive from this person that just heard an album for a day or seen a sh show for like a day and now we're like, you know, taking what they say for bond, for word, for truth. Um, but anyway, I thought that was fascinating. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'll maybe link his interview down below so you guys can check it out if you want to. But yeah, I was just like, dang, I never even thought about that like that. But that is so freaking true. But with that being said, I feel like what Jay-Z said is kind of always been in me. It's to like sit with something. Like I still listen to the same music from when I was in like eighth grade. You know, I still wear the same clothes over and over again because I'm still getting to know my pieces. And I, I encourage you guys to do the same. Is really sit with the pieces that you ha have and let them inspire you. You know, sometimes... And when I say let them inspire you, I mean, do whatever you can to make yourself feel comfortable and just really just play with that piece. You will be so surprised how many different ways you can innovate your wardrobe, you know, or make it just seem just new and fresh. And that's one thing that I like to do when I get like bored of my wardrobe or I feel like, oh my God, I have nothing to wear. I'm like, no girl, you have stuff to wear, okay? Let's just, you know, play it out. You know, even if you gotta go to Pinterest real quick or Dries, you know, see how they put clothes together, which I'm telling y'all, it is a trick, the freaking trick to styling a wardrobe is to look at people who are experts at it. You know, like, yeah, yeah. All right, my camera acting crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, I love you so much. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> Peace.